Hello YouTube, so today we will be doing another reaction video, however, I'm not going to be doing it on the one that I promised last time, which was the Pocahontas Burbank movie. Why? Because this one was just really kind of boring, honestly. I mean, I got some material out of it, but for the most part, like halfway through, I just sort of ended up just sort of being silent because there wasn't that much for me to say because I was just so bored. So, yeah, we will not be looking at this one, or at least not yet. I'll probably get to it at some point, but, yeah, I think I'm just gonna hold off on this one for now. And instead, we will be looking at Burbank's version of the Pied Piper. So, um, yeah, for this one, I actually do not have it on DVD. Instead, I will be pulling it up on YouTube, and on there it's in five parts, so, yeah. It's kind of gonna be a little bit annoying, although I don't think that there are any ads on it, so at the very least it won't slow us down too much. And yeah, I want to start this off by saying that I don't really know that much about the Pied Piper story. I mean, like, okay, yeah, I know a little bit about it, but really all that I kind of remember is that a guy plays a flute that leads rats away and then kids die or something. Yeah, I don't really remember. Although I do know the although I do know that there is a thing with kids dying in it, and that makes for a great children's story. However, my main exposure to it was in It's the Pied Piper Charlie Brown, which yes, I have on VHS. <sighs> There's such a good video format. I don't know why you're so obscure now. But, um, yeah, I did watch this on VHS, and no, I do not have the cover for it, but, yeah, this was my main exposure to it, and I haven't really watched it in years, so, yeah, I'm kind of going into this movie kind of blind, outside of the vague assumption of what I remember from it. However, I will say that I actually have seen this short before, as it was recommended, and I wanted to see if I could get enough material out of it. So... Yeah, with that, let's get into it. And also, I will not be playing um, my history of Burbank animation because, well, that would just take up some more time. And yeah, here it is in a card, so that's it instead. So yeah, with that, let's get into it. The Leaning Castle of Purple Sky Valley. So is this magical ball of light just breaking into somebody's house? Well, I mean, if the castle was inside a guy's amulet, then I guess it's okay. Come on, just show us who we really want to see. There they are. Well, that was a short book. We start this film off with a rat. At least it's setting us up well. Oh, so the Pied Piper lives in a rat's eye. Is that a cozy abode? I really want to know. And I'm sure these people really went somewhere. Really, they're carrying a guy for a synopsis? You know, I could sum this up and get paid if they want me to. It's crap, there. When a kid uses a ruler for the first time. Oh, great accents. Wow, a kid flying a kite never has anything so amazing to put to screen. And then it goes in the road and she chases after her and then gets hit by a car and her dad brings her back to life in the pet cemetery. I did exactly what you did a minute ago. Impressive. Yeah, I mean, look at this the twisting and stuff. Amazing. No, it's not. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sea captain. What a self-transition. You're going to be an elephant and a circus. <laughs> You're going to mutate into animals. You're going to be the female beast boy. I'm going to be a belly dancer. So interested in these kids' ambitions. <laughs> belly dancer. <laughs> Your bed is off. I don't know whose side I'm supposed to be on, the annoying kid or the other annoying kid that's insulting the first annoying kid. Oh no, it's stuck 
a tree. Whatever will they do? The excitement here. Suppose you want me to climb up and into your kite now, do you? No, actually, I was gonna do it. Fight it first! This is where his protection racket started. Red mascot, strawberries and cream for pudding tonight. You can give me yours. The accents, they're so amazing. But I still hate you. I hate him too, but I also hate you. You see my conundrum? Extra pudding's worth being hated for. Nothing there. weird about him reaching into his pocket, although he clearly has nothing in no his hand. Grandpa and grandma either. Oh no, a frog. What a weird conundrum. I'm more surprised that that frog stayed in his pocket for this long. And I guess we'll never see him actually getting the kite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, I just like yelling. Don't question me. It's us time you weren't hungry for pudding calculation. Was before you were born. I trust Fred. I'm trying not to be so pet. <laughs> that <know> face. <laughs> I don't believe you either. Now why don't you tell us what's really the matter? Was she just not hungry? <laughs> Oh my god, kid, you're having a kid, you're giving your brother some pudding. It's not the end of the world here. Suck it up. God. This is really what starts our story, by the way. Oh shut up. He did that before all this happened. That's not a big deal, Please you wimp. Kid problems. Liar. Biggest priority in the world. Isn't this so interesting? Worse than one has both of you. We'll get your puddings back after we get to the truth of this. Yeah, a kid who who was made in order to do this? Yeah, you obviously need to be punished. What? Right then. Let's have both sides of this story. Oh my god. Thank you for skipping over that. Now Hans had no right to call you names or put a frog in your hand. The interesting trial of kid dramas. God. It's but gonna be a long movie. Hans, you're pudding for getting your kite out of the tree, even though he should have done it for nothing. Wow, riveting. He's entitled to it fair and square. That's called paying the piper. Okay, thanks. Oh my god. It's very important, that's what. Wow, that really answered their question, random old guy. So, yeah, this is really what starts our story. Just a guy saying this phrase once and then a kid questioning it. Just, uh, he, he couldn't just say, well, you know, this is what happened and this is why we say this now. No, he, he has to tell a whole story in detail. This is gonna be a long movie. If you don't pay the piper, why, all sorts of terrible things can happen to you. Okay, there we go. End of the story. This movie is over now. Please. It's like breaking your promises. Why didn't That's you just say that? They to the Piper, and they paid a dreadful price for it. They are no longer around to and tell the story. It happened in a town called isn't that right, Grandma? Uh-huh, yeah, whatever. Town had a little problem. Well, it was a whole lot of little problems, actually. Rats. My God, the terror! Yep, that's a lot of rats. Let's linger on 
done this for 20 minutes. Can we please? The, the rat story is probably much more interesting. Yeah, we got it. We get it. Oh my god, shut up. Get on with the story. We are going from red to ruin. Red? Red? What are we Who going to do? Order. Order. Should we do something? Hey, that gives me an idea. Why don't you just kill him? Like, get a kitchen knife if you see one, stab it, I don't know, get rid of it, then just clean the kitchen knife and then make dinner. That's all you really have to do here. It's not like you have a really complex problem here. I mean, really, it's not hard, guys. Silence! Silence! Just attack them, one by one. You'll be done in a week. We're already here. Do, do you see all the chairs filled up? That that means everyone's here, dude. Hey, you're attacking the hey, stop attacking them with a book that started off the Wow, CGI cups. That was needed. I don't need to tell you this situation is very serious. We've got to do something about these revolting rats. So why are these kids watching? Is this like the highlight of their day? People are demanding to know what's going on. I can't look at nothing but those CGI cups. Oh, uh, we still have well, them. Uh, that, that, first, that's kind of we it. we tried poison, and then we tried traps, but... Uh, 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 you know, if you're being beaten by rats, this is just Hurry sad. What? Rats weren't hungry enough to beat the bait on... Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we eat him? What? So really, it's just them not being hungry enough. Um, well, why don't you just move the food to a place where the rats can't get it? Just saying, then they'll be hungry enough to eat it. It's not. This isn't rocket science here, guys. It's killing rats. It's not. It's not this hard. You're making it harder than it needs to be. The traps or the poison. They've taken over the sweet stores and the bakery. Oh my God. Uh, Grayson, really? <laughs> Personally, if I was a rat, I wouldn't eat anything that wasn't naturally grown or well cooked. Shut up! We're not Thank you for your interest. You you Thank you for that what if scenario, idea. though. Uh, this, Mrs. Von Meatburger, the butcher's Meat wife, Burger? has suggested we try. Uh, oh, oh, yes! <laughs> cats! This Fish. guy has a hard time reading the word cat. Why, why do they trust him at all? God, this is going to be hard. Big ones! Why would they eat cats if they wouldn't eat rat trap bait or poison? No, <coughs> Mrs. Von Meatburger trains them to destroy things. Remember last year when they ate the She tries to kill people with her cats. We have, seen, we have since tried to stop her from doing that, but then her cats attack, so we just let her. ...by accident. I, I think I remember. Perhaps the town clerk is right. But I know what you mean about eating cats, your worship. Oh, no I one cares. Even if it was naturally grown or Who shot. cares? Thank you. What does the council think about using cats to get... What a cliffhanger. Going into part two now. Rid of the rats. Well, they certainly got rid of the postman, all right. <laughs> Remember how annoying Now we don't was. get our mail. If they could this do that to a postman, what can they do to a rat? Precisely. I vote we try Mrs. Von Meatworker's cats. All hands say I Wait! It's all very well to rush into these things, but how much is it going to cost us? Why would it cost you anything? This is negatively affecting her business too. If there are rats all over her meat. So yeah, that wouldn't really increase her sale value there. So yeah, this would be a benefit for her and you guys. And her cats get fed for a while. So she gets to save on spending money on cat food. So yeah, there is nothing but benefits from this. Why is this a question? Uh. I checked 
that Mrs. Von Miesberger is still paying off the fine for her cats eating the postman. Um, if we Wait, her cat fine, seriously did kill somebody? The... What? Movie, don't meet me on my dark death jokes. I, I don't like it when this happens. This is just weird. Why don't we offer her ten percent less of her fine? Otherwise, we're going to lose on the deal. Or you could just make it nothing and you won't benefit. This town didn't get where it is by making bad money deals. Rats or no rats? What about trying her for five percent? Weiserman's right. Maybe we could charge her extra for the privilege of trying to help us. Fools, all of you. We're in a huge pickle, and we're worrying about money? This is life or death for Hamlin. <laughs> I... You know that's really sad for this place, when rat infestations are really what might make or break the economy here. Say we vote for Mrs. Von Meatburger said. We already said or yes. Say I... I it doesn't have to be unanimous here. Just it was one guy outvoted. It doesn't matter. Now, do you remember that oh my god. That voice. Seriously, she just has three cats? How did those cats kill? Huh? How did cats kill a postman? And why is everyone okay with that? Look at that mustache guy. Did you see that guy with that orange mustache? I don't know why. I want to know more about that guy. Why are they all shocked? Oh no! What are we going to do now? Maybe the town council will come up with a new plan at the bidding to buy or better or without them out of office. Silly cats! I could fix those rats better than those cats, Greta! Yeah, I got a great idea. Let's use a knife and let's just stab them whenever we see them. Seriously, why don't they just do that? It's not like it's the most complex plan in the world. It's not hard to do. Then they'd be saving money, which is apparently the main concern here. And apparently this is a self-insertion fanfic, I guess. I would be a hero and fight them with my sword and chop off their heads and tails twice. Wow, amazing. Buckethead's gonna save the day. How are they to blame for all of this? I get that you guys want someone to blame here, but they aren't it. The rats came of their own accord. Blame the rats if you want to blame something so much. And I just don't get this at all. It's like they're gonna, like they're asking, what are you doing to stop this? They, they just tried something. They've apparently tried a few options. Why are you asking this? Like your plan didn't work five minutes ago. What are you doing now? We can't take any more. Then order, kill them yourselves. Order. It's not hard. Why won't anyone do that? Town clerk, read today's rep report. It's uh, the same as yesterday. We Nothing tried has changed. Poisons and threats, and now we tried cats. I'm very oh, sorry thank God he can read cats now. Again, you we should sack the councillors. Get rid of them! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, guys, you can actually make suggestions. That would seem when Cat Lady decided to suggest that her cats might do something. So suggest your plan. It's not like you need to kick them out of office and take over. We could all lose our jobs if we're not careful. Why don't we blame it all on the town clerk? It is stupid enough to go along with it. We 
Why? Keep their minds off the rest for a while. Um, Why? Why would that do that at all? Why are you so obsessed with hanging this one guy? Did he like scurry over on something? What the? F Why do you want to hang this guy? This is honestly the weirdest yet also funniest part of the movie. Just this guy's determination to hang this one random guy. I, I don't know. Does he want this job or something? I don't. But I do have one more suggestion. Uh, why don't we call in the soldiers? Really? And just how much is that going to cost? This old skin clean. No! How dare you think about our economy? It's your money. It's ours. Yeah, call in the soldiers. Hang the expense. No, hang the town clerk. Wait, is that one kid defending the town clerk for some reason? What? So really... So really, poison, traps, and now cats didn't work. Let's get in an army to take care of these things. Oh my god. Guys, again, knives. It, it's not hard. Just take a kitchen knife, stab them, and then you're done. It's not... It's not like this is the hardest thing in the world to do. Just, just do that. You'll be done in a week. Just do that. God. Wow, we can't see the soldiers. I'm in such suspense of what they look at like. Really? Smoke bombs? Is that needed for this? You know, guys, just close your windows and won't get in. And thus, they all got stuck in Silent Hill, and that smoke cloud came out of nowhere. Feel, just felt like I should bring that up. Really? They need soldiers for fumigation? Well, they're doing the same thing they've done before! Amazing! Apparently their smoke bombs are just meat now. Yes. Again, now... Oh, okay, so then they stab them, right? Wow, I found out what Burbank's good at. They can draw smoke clouds. Now, if only they could put them in the right places and not make them so jaggedy, then they'd be experts. Why would that break you? Seriously, a penny ahead. Okay. It's not like the... Why would the rats be instantly okay because of this? Really? Really? That, that's all it took for you guys to retreat. Just that. Wow. They're the best at being the worst. Gentlemen, I think we've come to the end of the line. There seems to be or at least the end of the rope for the town clerk. We all decided that the hanging idea was the best. I vote. We pass a motion of no confidence in ourselves and resign. Well, that's at something I agree with. Those people will stop blaming us for the rest. I vote that we hang the town clerk. Why? We will tell the people it was his fault. You know the people are watching this, right? <laughs> What do you think, town clerk? Do you hey, want to be hung? This is yes. a great question. Hang the town clerk. It's all his fault. Why? I mean, he's giving a report. Bastard! Oh, hey, look at that. It's the dark elf from Thor. The dark world. Cool. Yes, I forgot his name. And I know that he's a character and of comics too. Who well. are you? I am a scolding minstrel, a troubadour, a piper, if you 
And I'm really bad at dyeing my hair. We're in the middle of an emergency here. I know. That's why I've come to you. You're too late, my five-volt friend. We are going to hang the town clerk. It can't hurt. <laughs> why do you want to do this? The tale of your rats has spread far and wide. And I have come Everyone has thought that you were easily <laughs> defeated at this. For some reason. That rat has two tails. I guess. Perhaps he can. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. Yes, yes. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. That's fun, sir. Believe me. Nothing is funny. As I say, for a price. You knew there was a catch to it. Wow, it's almost like you gotta pay an exterminator to be an exterminator. Wow, this is shocking information. Oh, and how much? I thought I will reveal that to you when I return, sir. Excuse me, gentlemen. I will come back to these chambers in a short time, show you my method, and set you upon it. All agree? Agreed. Then, good day to you all. Although I'll be back today, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I still wow. say that we hang him. Piper, not Pika. I don't know. I don't like it. Hey, they're sitting next oh, to the no. Princess Leia. He's right. Cool. Looks like a hero. Yeah, I mean, only heroes have two color back. hair. As long as we don't go outside the village, it's not allowed. Mm-hmm, riveting info. More suspense! Will those birds get to the other side of the frame? I want it! Okay, they did. Okay, okay, remember that line. They're not allowed to be here without their parents' permission. Remember that. That is super important for me later. Just, just remember that. They're not allowed to be here without their parents' permission. Remember that. Give up and go home. Can I go home? I mean, I'm already home, but can I go home? Something else? I don't know. The suspense of this guy. Well then, I suppose you're wondering how I'm going to get rid of your rats, eh? Yes, Mr. Piper. Piper. How are you going to do it? Magic or dragon? I know, dragon. Both. I'm the Pied Piper. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Piper. Oh, I there he is. And this is Greta. What are you looking I for? I thought that was just a is thick accent. <laughs> Actually, it's a treat. Wow. You're going to hit the rats with a whole tree? Well, that'd be just interesting. A small oh, it's never mind. A special kind of tree. Come on. You know, I, I'm I'm thinking that Peter over here is giving way more interesting suggestions for how this movie should go. Why does a certain tree type matter? And why does this forest have so many varieties of trees? There it is, an oak tree. It's got the best. For some odd reason, there is a bunch of sunlight on it. All we do. Is he an elf? I just now noticed his ear. Okay, that is a lie. Wood. Okay, okay, that is the biggest lie ever. As a kind of, sort of, sometimes whittler, because yes, whittling is a bunch of fun. But it is a complete lie that you can do that. Even with an extremely sharp knife, you gotta get in the, you gotta get in the back of it, and you gotta pull it out to be a perfect triangle. Normally, you gotta like cut a whole piece off and then actually shape it to be a rectangle. I'm just saying, this this guy's a complete liar. Little of a tree 
Oh, yeah, that's how fast that happened. You're not going to eat that. I it didn't even put a it didn't even drill a hole through it. I don't even know how he would do that with just the knife. Like, how? How do you... God. You missed a fight? <laughs> yeah, that, that's no, how yeah, whittling that. works. Much, much yeah, whittling that. takes like five seconds. That That's how it works, guys. It, it's really that quick. I mean, I've spent like a day working on one spike, but yeah, I mean, it, it takes really just like five seconds to make a flute. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, if he can magically make a flute in five seconds, I guess I shouldn't underestimate him. Lipstick, I can do it. No, I can't. Can we smoke through that? It's time to make them dance. Why am I laughing? It's either this or I die. But my offer still stands. Twenty pure gold bars, and I'll rid your town of rats within the hour. Okay, dude, I get that you're like their last hope here, but that's it's kind of a lot of money for that, just saying, especially given the time period. Maybe like five or ten, but twenty? Come on. You're overestimating your skills. I hope we pay you ten times that amount. Ha ha ha, let's joke about overestimation because we're sure it'll never happen even though it totally will. Ha ha ha, we're idiots. Hands up all in favor. I still say that we hang in. Why? I don't know. I, I just think that'll save the day. Oh, so they were laughing without... They were somehow laughing without actually laughing. That's kind of amazing. Put that in the record, town clerk. The mayor agrees with old man Meisterman. But this isn't a unanimous vote. Come on. I thought it had to be. And why can't I say unanimous right now? For some reason, I'm just saying it. I don't know why. Slightly annoying speech of that I sometimes have. No escape. I'm going to chop your head. Oh my god, he's actually doing what I said. If only he had a real knife or something. Oh, well, maybe that's why they don't do it. Will Buckethead save the day? CGI. Oh, that did not oh. break your leg. There is no way that falling off of maybe the second step on that ladder broke your leg. I mean, it might have hurt it for a while, but not broke it. They're, coming or going? They're obviously going. They're all going They're in one direction. Going. Where? What do you think's happening here? Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait one minute. Hang on. Pause. Who the heck is that guy? Who is that guy? Want to know more about that guy, or I want to know what's wrong with him? J just I want to know things about that man. Just what what's with him? Apparently they're all coming out one half. Why is that head so big? Apparently everything disappears behind the Piper's shadow. Don't question how that works. I 
And on this day, the rap genocide happens. It's tragedy. Do you need to do that? They're already going in. And tell your friends that no rats will ever return to Hamlin. Ever. And then that rat went and got all of its friends and got its revenge. If only. That kid's head. Yeah. Has, no, has no one actually checked on this kid yet? Do, do they not have parents? I mean, they talked about their parents before. Again, remember the parents thing. What do you think? Wow, you really are pathetic. Bastard stealing my credit. Now, Mr. Pied Piper, <laughs> on behalf of the people of Hamblin, may I offer our sincere thanks for the mighty job of work you've done. You know, you still got Pam. I, I vote that we build a special statue of Mr. Pied Piper in the town square. Yeah, that that'll be so much cheaper than just giving the guy the money that he wants. You know, you guys could probably try and negotiate it down to your original price. Like, say that you guys were joking before. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure that he'd still accept that. Maybe a little bit extra because you because you made him think that he was gonna get something else. But still, I, I'm just saying that I'm pretty sure that making a statue for him would cost a little bit more than what you actually were offering. Hand, say I. I. Uh, so long as it doesn't cost. Oh, shut much. up. Now, as a special reward for the good work you've done, I'm going to ask the town clerk to give you one whole bar of gold. Oh, you guys payment. are a holes. We're really very, very grateful, Mr. Pipe Piper. Town clerk. Oh my god, you cheapskates. So, um, whose side are we supposed to be on here? The guy who kidnaps kids or the a-holes who are ripping him off and causing that? Seriously, Don't tell an exterminator, hey, yeah, you did a really good job, but yeah, so here's 50 cents. Should be on the side. Well, at least the Pied Piper should be nice to the town's clerk. I mean, he's not saying anything about the money or the statute situation, and also he's agreeing with him. So, yeah, just saying. You should have hung him. Oh, shut uh, up. Anyway, with your weird we obsession of hanging. At the time, and we had a fingers crossed. It doesn't count if we're laughing and crossing our fingers when we vote on something. And not how that look. That's not how that works, you dummy. It doesn't work that way. Sorry, I had to. No, it's not right. It's very wrong. I really do agree with him. Despite his, despite his really poorly well, despite his really poorly worded argument. Uh, 
I'm going. Yeah, you'll sue him for something that you promised him. That makes sense. Both, we don't give you any gold at all now. Wow. Or even a statue. I am certain you'll all understand. Except for the town's clerk, because, I mean, he's just agreeing with you, just saying. But, yeah, I can see you wanting to get revenge on everybody else here. They're all a-holes. And the town's clerk is an idiot, so... Not paying the piper. Remember, you were all warned. <laughs> Much worse than that. Maniacal laugh. Goodbye. This is not scary, guys. You know, a guy who can't decide on his own hair color is not scary. Typical Piper. The lied Piper. Yeah, Pied Piper's always lie. That's what they're best known for, right? What? Yeah, I mean, you saw how much he was lying before. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's the last we'll see of him. Yep. What oh, yeah, we really need to see what's going on with them. He killed them all. If I like. Grandma, bring Hans another bowl of strawberries and cream. And then he exploded. I don't know why it's really want to see that. And there aren't even any strawberries in that, you liars. Also, Greta also Greta actually did eat some too. They showed that before, so what's even the point of this anymore? Hey, the poor pipe. Yeah, to be fair Twenty about that. Bars of gold would have been a fair reward for his work, but three hundred? No. Except that he was wasn't being offered three. twenty now. Some he was being like offered two hundred. He was promised that, and also no one tried to oh, negotiate okay. him back down to twenty. Yeah, what happened next? Remember the little boy Peter who fought the rats? Nope. Well, well, I don't Peter want was to. was most disappointed when Greta eventually told him the whole truth about the Piper. So she let him believe that for a few weeks. She, she was just screwing around. My sword, and the Piper just happened to be walking past playing his whistle. That's how it happened, Greta. You kept on talking, Piper even though they pay it out. The very next morning, when the sun rose over the town, None of the citizens even suspected it was going to be the worst day of their lives. It began with a musical note on the air. And it wasn't very good, so everyone just ignored it. Somehow he had telepathic abilities. Don't know how that happened. <laughs> Their faces. That face. All these faces. This walking animation. Uh, why is she not being put under the control? Is she not a kid? She looks like one. Up to this point, I thought that she was one. Is she a teenager? Does that qualify her not being drawn away with this? I don't... Yeah, okay, they actually do say that she's tone deaf later, but still. Don't you see? It's a stranger! Uh -huh. I believe him. Yeah, we're in terrible danger. 
Well, then go over there and drag them away if you're so concerned. There are tons of adults looking. They're not doing crap. What do you, what, is that, does that kid have a clone? You I can, don't think so, young lady. You have another don't hand. Yeah, that, that, that's how that works. He has super strength to do that, I guess. Oh, yes, you will. Unless you want something terrible to happen to your friends. So, was she gonna, like, get some stuff to lead people to where she is or something? No, that, that would just be a smart idea. Yeah, that, that's what I would say. <laughs> the end. If only. You know, this would actually be a great ending to this movie. Just all the kids got taken forever. Wait for me. I can no longer hear Rodri's music. Where? Mm -hmm. Wow, what an amazing clue. Oh, no. Now I remember. The Piper has taken her and the other children. Then, Don't worry. I will rescue Then go back to the town, tell them the direction that you were going, and then take a whole search party out. It's not like it's the hardest thing in the world to do. And I guess that she was leaving a clue, but it would have probably been better if she had a string or something. I mean, he probably would have noticed that, but still. Everyone. Stop. Oh, so his hair is we'll mostly black outside. There's one quarter back. that's gray for some reason. Do something? We should do something. No. Wow, aren't these kids useful? Why would they start crying? No one else has been like that. One of them already broke the spell. We already saw that they didn't start crying. Instead, they tried to be productive. Why wouldn't all these kids do that and just attack the piper, then go back and follow the trail back to where they're supposed to go? I'm just saying. It's it's not like this is rocket science either. Why are they making everything in this movie harder than it has to be? Where are you kids, too? God. doesn't end nothing. with them dying, I won't be happy. Spoiler alert, I'm upset. Shut up! We don't care about our future generation if it costs too much. One more chance to pay. That'll get our kids back. Oh yeah, this was actually a really bad idea. Why did I do this again? Oh, and his hair is now half gray again. Amazing hair continuity. No, that pipe took five seconds to make. And then he ran away, away. Wow, kids being kidnapped against their will is such a nice and fun story for me, as evidenced by the smile on my face. Greta then grew up to be a murderer. No, he was far too fast for them. In the end, he ran all the way to the mountains of Switzerland and 
was never seen again. Twist of this movie, the grandpa's the Pied Piper. He could still be there for all I Sorry about that. I was getting my dinner lunch. I haven't actually eaten yet today. It's 3.45. I probably should have eaten by now, but yeah. So, might be eating during this, so, yeah. We go into the room and go into the night place so that it will be that we should. That's the worst end to a story ever. I want to see them die. Uh, well, I'm gonna throw up like I had the worst hangover of my life. What happened to them? Were they all surprised to see me? Oh, they all died in the woods out of starvation and thirst. Oh, good times. The last one was actually and drinking the tears of the others. Yeah. Uh, uh, great. Uh, thank you, Grandma. Now then. The dog all returned to him after the party got away. Another beautiful transition. <laughs> what are we going to do without our children? How <laughs> horrible. We'll never see them again. does not have eyes. Oh, okay, she does, but her eyes stretch into her nose. Also, the end! Well, it's the end of this video, so, yeah, I mean, the end! We're done! They all died! If only. Right in the <laughs> Any volunteers who come to the How? party? I'll come. Me too! And me. Me? Yes, me. Wasn't that kind of kid? One guy seemed worried to go. Like, uh, did I really save my kids? I don't know. Hello? Hello? I never found them. Is anyone there? Greta, where are you all? You know, I shouldn't be mocking Peter. He has a vest. Although his vest is way too long, so I hate him. Hello? Hello? died. Stop! You're giving me too many opportunities! Just let them die! No! Nothing! Keep searching! We can't give up! Come on! This way! No, no! Over here! No! That's the last thing we need! It's the best fire in the world! Never mind. It's no good! We have to protect! Well, that's it. We give up. I mean, we search for like a whole minute. They're the best. Poor children. I'm poor for all us. The end. Come on, stop giving me so many opportunities, movie. And then they searched all day tomorrow. Oh, of course not. They just continued to grieve. God, these kids are still crying. Get over it. Just go back home. It's not like you can't do that. It's not like Greta didn't see the path and she can't lead you all back. Then go back. Yeah, with that attitude you are. Let's all cry. That will get us out of here. Be quiet, everyone. Don't cry. You're all 
a bennet. It must be looking for us. Yeah, don't cry. Then they might hear us and actually find us. If only. Oh, hey, it's younger one. versions of them. Cool. Then stop crying and just go back. You know, if I was Greta, I would have just slapped all those kids already and just told them to grow up and walk home. If only. Hey, down there. And then a lion is attacked. No! Don't worry. Oh, I was the lioness. Roar, attack, dead, the end. Wow, it's almost like one of you already actually saw the path here and could have just led you all back this whole time. Gah! We've just got to think about this. This will feed my ego perfectly. Who didn't have survived that storm? Not that attitude. <laughs> I miss my little girl. And my little boy. <laughs> and they never found their way back. The end. Please. Please just give me a dark ending. Has anyone got anything to say for themselves? Yes, They're all I cheap a holes. I resign. Good. That will save us even oh, more. Oh, shut my... up. We've only got ourselves to blame for this, gentlemen. Yeah, that's the This clear. is a very black day for the town of Hamlet. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. I vote we carry out our future duty for no payment who make it up. To the poor parents. No fees? I resign. Then Hamilton became the first tax free place ever. Good idea. Yeah, Maybe finding your kids. Are you guys seriously so determined on thinking that they just died? Like they couldn't have found a cave or anything to hide in. Nope, they, they totally died because there was bad weather out. The end. Come on, guys. Please just stop. And that's when the voices in everyone in this town's head started. And they suffered mass hysteria and all killed each other. You mean to say that we could have just ran back this whole time instead of wasting our time crying? Yeah, we probably could have. Oh, wow. Huh. Maybe we should have done that from the get-go. Yeah, we probably should have. Oh, they're here. I can't really go back to my You know, they would start searching for them right when this happened, not not like a few hours later. At least the Pied Piper gave them joy. Looks terrible and clashes with their eyes. <laughs> How did you find the children, Peter, when we couldn't? I uh I followed the path. But that's really all that took. It's not like it's really hard. Use my brains and my yeah. eyes. 
You don't have brains. When I found Greta's ribbon, knew which direction to follow. Never wow, what a genius. He knows how to follow the basic instructions. I propose three cheers for Tita from the people of Hamlet. That guy will never open up his eyes. Amazing dissolve. You were gonna get killed, weren't you? What exactly gave you that idea at all? I mean, like, I guess she knew pointless details of all this, but what gave you that idea? I will say, though, that at the very least, this story does have some nice moments where they do actually show that they were actually watching these scenes unfold. Like, they were in most of the scenes in this. Like, even in that opening with the annoying, with the, um, annoying council discussing pointless crap, at the very least, you could still see them watching it. So, I mean, there's no real reason why they would be, but at the very least, they did do that. I mean, I'm gonna compliment it where it's due. A lot of stories don't do that. Your name is Greta. And Grandpa's name is Peter. This is why I told you to remember that line from before. They got married in the end. Earlier in the movie, they discussed their parents worrying about where they are. Their parents. <laughs> Incest. Yeah. Now I know why they were put in the same bed. <laughs> why the hell did they do that? Just why? Worth it. But why did they do that? Seriously, that is just messed up. Now you guys could say, well, maybe they were both talking, maybe they were talking about their own parents, but, I don't know, I feel like this movie was trying to suggest that they were siblings, and then made them into a love interest thing, which is just disgusting. Even when you look at it, it was still implied, which makes it really messed up. Now you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but still. That's why I thought immediately upon hearing that, and yeah, I'm sorry, that just sounds really messed up. That, that was the first thing that I thought of, so maybe there is an explanation, but yeah, that's really the first thing that I thought happened. He saved the little children. No, actually, I led the way back, and what I can't talk, no, I even though my lips move. Now I know what you were like when you were a little girl, and grateful. You knew the Piper was a bad man, didn't you? Wow, we're forgetting. Yes, I did. Because the Spike picture held up no magic for me. So it did not rob me of my senses. Why was that, Grandma? Why would that indicate that he's... I don't sing you a lullaby. But I'm you an can't sing, Grandma. I often wonder why. The reason is, I'm truly dead. So then why are you saying that the reason why you knew this guy was bad news was because you couldn't hear his music? Yeah, I think that everyone whose music I can't hear, which is everybody, think that they're all bad news. You know, I was saying yesterday, yeah, I know, I think that you're bad news. So, I cannot pick a tune. So you weren't charmed. We already heard this. Stop so, reiterating. So, so I missed out on the magic. I could yeah, I'm so sad that I wasn't mind controlled. Wow, he looks so depressed. Ah! You and then they turned blue. I don't know why. Those heroes. No, the real hero was your grand. Grandma. I'm just taking cred. I, I, I'm just being space. humble. I actually was a I hero. Just for a minute before we go to sleep? No. Of course you can. If you are very gentle. Why? 
Really? Why'd they turn blue earlier? What what made them change the hue of all this? They put in more work to make it bad. Huh, the VHS is trying to kill itself. Cool. Wacky hiking team sleeps with the bucket on his head and that and thus the movie killed itself. So yeah, he sleeps with a bucket on his head and a sword in his hand. One can only hope they died of a heart attack that night, too. I love that this movie just put itself out of its misery at the end. So, um, yeah. That was... That. Yeah, I can't say that's good at all, and it's kind of messed up if you actually think that they were actually siblings, which what I thought when I first watched this. I mean, yeah, okay, they might have just, again, they might have just said that, and they might have just meant, you know, their parents, like their own, but still, I don't know. I feel like they were trying to imply they were siblings here, and that just makes this really messed up. So, yeah, in my head canon, Burbank has now gone to incest. Uh, I can't tell if it's just that I have a dark mind or if they actually did do that. But yeah, either way that you look at it, this movie's a mess and it's really just terrible. The person who recommended that I look at this said that it was pretty much a whole deleted scene and yeah, I can agree. Sucks. So yeah, there's not all that much to say about it other than that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.